Hello and welcome to my channel. I am going to be reviewing a Vitec A15 Pro. Now this tablet I bought for our son this Christmas and he has been using it and liked it so much that I've decided to purchase one for myself and I thought what the heck I'll do an unboxing video so you can see what comes in this box what condition it's in I'm really curious it looks like it got banged up just a little bit in shipping but I'm pretty confident it's gonna be fine I bought him the blue one. I thought it looked cool I got the gray one and I wanted to point out some stuff that uh, he experienced and like you get a bunch of nibs and show you some nib wear that he's got since December this is currently May so six months of use so uh, let's get into it now first off as far as first impressions go from his experience again uh, one of his complaints not really complaints I guess I mean he, he loves the tablet so much that he let me borrow it and uh, I really like it too. I'm used to the Wacom tablets. I've had several of those, but since I've upgraded to Windows 10, I wanted a new a new tablet that the drivers for the Wacoms, the old Wacoms for Windows 10. It's just it's become a pain. So I've been doing some stuff in 3D modeling programs and I I really need needed something that had some programmable buttons. I really liked this dial feature on his to be able to zoom in and out it's really handy one of the things that he pointed out is in a dark room he, he rarely has the lights on in his room while he's working he can't tell the difference between these buttons in the dark and he's got a good point because not only do i agree with him on that but i'd like it to be visually different too because whenever i'm working in the living room or wherever i'm doing my work it's not always real bright in the room so whenever I look I can't immediately distinguish between some of these I may have to uh, modify that myself and maybe paint these or do something different but whenever you're in a pitch black room or at least a very dark room you can't feel the difference between them they all feel identical so that would be a nice improvement if they could put some sort of a tactile difference I mean I realize we're not catering to the blind and for a, a tablet like this but if you're in a dark room you may as well be blind so let's get on to this unboxing all right so this came via amazon and it came directly in this box it was shipped just like this i mean you can see the label i blacked out my address but but yeah, that's exactly how it came. It, it really survived pretty well, I think. Got a little little ding here, but I mean, come on. That, that pretty good. Nice box, got a nice feel to it. All right. Let's see what we got. I wasn't there whenever he unboxed his, actually. We, it was Christmas. There was a lot of unboxing going on during Christmas. So I didn't get to see him open his and see all the everything that he pulled out of his box. So let's see what we've got in ours. So it's got some uh, foam in here to, to help cushion. Yeah, that's nice. That's cool. I knew his came with a glove, so... He never uses his glove, but I don't know. I may use it. All right. Okay. All right. Let's pull it out of its bag. All right. Nice and new and shiny. Now, the pictures, I didn't realize this was actually going to be basically black. It said it was gray. In fact, I think the outside of the box even says, yeah, see, gray is checked on, on the outside of it. But hmm. It's kind of cool, actually. I kind of like the black myself. So, otherwise, compared to the blue, yeah. All 
All right, let's see what else is in here. Cardboard divider. Set that aside. How to download your drivers. I've actually already got the drivers downloaded. I actually went to the website and just downloaded the drivers from there. All right, the, the pin, nice little felt carrying case. That's cool. I don't know that I'll ever really need that. I'm going to be doing all of my work here at the house. I'm not going to be transporting this around where I would need to, to protect that, but that's, that's cool. Of course, the... Oh... I didn't realize that you had to assemble this. I've always seen and, and borrowed his pre-assembled like that. I didn't realize that it came apart. Okay. We'll get back to his because I wanted to, like I said, show you some of that. Is this keyed in any way or can I just pop this together? Oh, I see. There's a little kind of a bayonet style. Hope I didn't get too much out of frame. Kind of a bayonet in style. Can we focus on this? I don't know how well you can see that. But there are little nibs sticking out there. So, okay. I assume that this will just slide together and twist. Okay. Heard a little click. Okay. Cool. And then this just kind of pushes in and doesn't fall out. And of course, the cable, 90 degree angle on the head. Now, I will also mention that some experience, that an experience that he had with his is that plugged into his, it works this way much better than turned around. Now this should be a universally or you know bi-directional plug. But if he has it plugged in this way, he said he has a myriad of problems with it. Now, if he turns the plug this direction, actually I think most photographs I see online, everyone has theirs this direction, but it will occasionally glitch and he has to wiggle it, or uh, whenever I borrowed it from him, I had to unplug it for a second and plug it back in, and then the connection became stable again. But occasionally he did have problems with it, but for the most part, no problems. Let me pause here for just a moment to point out that I've been using this new tablet to edit this video, and I have not experienced that issue at all. It didn't matter which direction I plugged the cable in, it works just fine. It seems perfectly stable. I have not had that glitch at all. So I just wanted to share that with everyone that maybe it's just a problem with his. I, I don't know what's wrong with his specifically, but I don't. if anyone else hears about something like that, please comment below and let me know. But uh, it's, it's not an issue I've had with this new tablet. So let me unplug that. What else have we got in here? I'm sure that's where that was. I see that there's others. Let's just oh sure. It's it's caught inside. <laughs> Spare nibs, nib remover, and quick start guide are in the box. Yeah, I see that. But getting them out. Uh oh. Oh, okay. That didn't spill out of the, out of the quick start guide. I feel like I'm playing Operation. I would have been buzzed already. Okay. Is there anything else hiding? No. Okay. Good. Set that aside. So, we got our quick start guide and our nibs, which I thought were actually in this bag, were floating around separately. Okay, so they call that a nib remover, huh? Okay. Well... There's a nib remover in the bottom here, too. I already knew about this one because, again, I borrowed my son's. 
but uh, hmm, that's funny. Okay, so there we go. Everything that comes in this box. Driver download, the carrier, and the cable. All right. I think we're probably good to go. Let's move on to nibware. So, how well we can get this to focus so that you can see this. All right, let's switch to this camera. This one on my camera actually focuses. The other wide angle didn't focus for me. So, okay, nibware. This is our son's on the bottom, and he's been using it off and on since December. The other one is new out of the box. Now, I think... If I'm correct, he has replaced this nib once. I'm not positive of that, but hmm, maybe I should ask him. Hang on. Okay, so I just went and asked our son about this real quick to see, is this the original nib that he had, or has he replaced it once? Apparently this is the original nib. He has not replaced it. He said it initially wore really quickly and then once he got down to this point it, uh, it kind of stopped wearing he thinks that it might be a little harder plastic in the center and the outside wore pretty quickly but so after six months he said it pretty much stopped once it got to this point that's kind of interesting and I just, <laughs> I'm real observant I didn't notice that uh, his has a gray uh, well, in the old Wacoms, I wanted to call this an eraser, but this is not an eraser. It's just the back of the pen. I'm not really sure. I, I'm still learning about this uh, tablet, but I don't know that there's really a, a use on the back. I mean, there's a hole. You can't use that to pull the nib out, so I don't really know what, what the story is on that. But kind of interesting that the black one, at least I'll be able to tell the difference between the... Uh, the styluses for mine, my tablet, and his. <laughs> so, let me see here. It came with quite a few nibs. Let's see. Now, I know the website, I know Amazon said how many nibs are in this package, but I did not I do not remember. Hmm. These here. Is there? Oh, there's a little hole in the middle, like there's like a sewing needle. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so 16, 20. Okay, so 20 nibs. That's, I'm going to end up losing these. Man. So, they are really aware of nib wear I guess and that's why they give you so many but nib remover okay let's see which is better the nib remover do we need to keep this thing around hmm. pretty easy kind of nice let's see if we can show that back in or we use the nib remover down here work too. Hmm. It was a little tricky to get out of there, but once you got a grip on it, it worked. Oh. <laughs> There's a hole all the way through there. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I really like this dial. I like how you can zoom in and out on your work while you're sculpting, while you're drawing. Uh, you can press the button to switch modes for what this dial does. The A15 Pro has that. The A15 just has a, I'm not even sure what it has. It has something here that says Vitek, but it does not have this rotating dial. 
the normal A15 does have all these programmable buttons, which is really nice. The software is pretty easy to use for this. I did notice I could not find a tab function for these, but you can do keyboard strokes. You can do, I think, combinations of keyboard strokes. You can do the, the special ones like Control and Alt and Shift are actually uh, a separate thing, but you'll find that in the software, and there's tons of information online about how to configure these. I do wish that there was some way to more easily distinguish between these buttons in the dark. I said that before, but I really, <laughs> whenever you're focusing back and forth between the screen and trying to find these buttons, it gets a little distracting. Uh, to me, I like having Shift and Control and Alt all available right here so I don't have to reach over and hit my the keyboard on my laptop all the time. But uh, otherwise, I doubt that I'm going to use all of these buttons. Maybe over time I will learn other functions that I can do with these that I'm not doing right now. Right now, my main thing is just Shift, Control, and Alt, just having those available and being able to zoom in and out. Now I realize that you can, in uh, ZBrush, you can, you know, Alt and, well, I'm still learning ZBrush, whatever it was, Alt and and zoom and then let go and then you can zoom in i'm still learning that but for me sometimes it's quicker just to zoom in and out with this but otherwise i, I really like it the you know eight thousand however many <laughs> degrees of pressure I, I don't know if that's a huge deal for anybody you know, um, the pressure sensitivity on this thing does it have it on the outside of the, the case no it doesn't Look at this quick start guide for real quick. Is there anything, anything useful in the quick start guide? Let's see. For Mac OS 10 or later, or Windows 10, 8, 7, 32, 64. But yeah, basically all the Windows. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. Are there, is there a feature list here? instructions on how to take the nib out using the tool. And it quickly goes into other languages. Okay. Well, it really is a quick start guide. Now there is no battery. I don't know how familiar you are with styluses, but some companies, now from what I remember, Wacom was one of the first companies that had a battery-free stylus. That was always what I really liked. You didn't have to worry about replacing batteries in your stylus. Uh, but other competitors, whenever they came out with competing tablets, they had to have a battery inside their stylus for it to work, for it to be able to do the pressure sensitivity. They weren't really sure, I guess, or maybe Wacom had a patent on how they did it. But now there are other companies out there that are doing battery-free styluses, and I just, I have to have that. I just, I can't be worrying about the battery going dead in my stylus. Something else to take a look at. I didn't really open up the glove. Let's have a look at this. I have never, never used one of these artist gloves before. I do a lot of sketching. I do a lot of painting. I do a lot of stuff on the computer, but I have never used one of these. This is different. How do I go oh, it goes around like like this, huh? Okay. Well interesting. I wonder if that's gonna be <laughs> weird or well I like that. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. So I guess this way what? It makes it smooth. It does feel pretty smooth. This tablet is very smooth. It's got a, a, a bit of a texture. It's hard to describe. It's, it's super smooth, but there is just the slightest bit of texture there. Probably almost like, like paper, I guess. But, uh, hmm. So I guess this glove maybe helps keep your oil, your natural body oil off of this. Hmm. Let's 
see. Now you can tell just from use you get, it attracts, you know, natural oils from your skin. And uh, so maybe this would help prevent that. I haven't exactly read a whole lot about this, but it's interesting. I don't know. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think about these. Do you use these gloves? They're fairly cheap through Amazon. If for some reason you would wear one out, I don't know that you would ever wear one out, but maybe they get dirty and rather than wash them, <laughs> you throw them away and buy another one or you just don't like the material. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not, I've never used one. So let me know what you think about that too. And please comment. Okay. Well, so that's it. I hope you uh, found this at least a little useful and give me a like, maybe subscribe to my channel. I may be doing other videos. I always do trans world or Halloween related stuff, but I'm going to branch out into other stuff now. Um, you may have seen other videos I've done, but if you like this review and you found it useful at all, give me a, a thumbs up or a, a like. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe now. Hit the, the subscribe button. Give me a ring the bell and you'll be notified about any new videos that I post. And give me comments if you know of any way to, a better way to distinguish between these. These don't have any kind of texture or raised little nibs or anything on this to, to feel the difference between these like you would on a braille sort of a system. But uh, if you have any ideas on how to really improve the visibility of these or the, the texture of them, I'd appreciate it if you commented and let me know and just uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.